So today is my first video. All I'm gonna do today is talk about myself and basically show you all my Legos. So first off, I have my Slave One, and then the Millennium Falcon. If any of you know who Harrison Ford is, leave it down in the comments below and tell me if you have any of this stuff. Here is a Jedi player. It was used in the first movie. Here's a pod ship, the top opens. Anakin's Jedi Inceptor, a little spear, this is the TIE Fighter from the new movie. So if any of you Star Wars fans have seen the new movie, you'll know who this is. Here's General Grievous' speeder. Snow speeder. It's from the new movie, but you never really see it. As well from the new movie, we have the First Order Transporter. So here is the battle on Takanata. This is as well from the new movie. This is from the Clone Wars in Lego. I'm not sure. I haven't watched it. It's a little cannon here. The resistance troop transporter. It's just the front opens, the top opens. Our lap pit, which comes with the um, desert skiff set. I designed mine. Here's Java sail barge. And then the next set I have is the Imperial shuttle, also known as Shuttle Tidarian. The Corporal Alliance tank. It was in the Battle of the Clones. Ray speeder bike. And over here we have Poe Dameron's X-Wing. The last that I have to show you, and then I have the really big little stuff I have to show you. Here's Kylo Ren's command shuttle. And the wings flap out. Now I'm gonna move on to the big Lego set. So the last thing I have to show you today is the Lego Death Star. It is the second biggest Lego Star Wars set ever made. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. So, I got this for Christmas. It's 3,803 pieces. It took me about a week to build, and it had 25 minifigures in it. So now let's go to it. So the first room I have to show you is this little mechanic claw room, and the claw can close, and you can put its hand on a barrel, and I just have R2, D2, C, 3, PO. So moving on to the next part is the cannon. And if you flick a lever in the back, it shoots. The next room I have is a trash compactor, and I have Luke, Chewbacca, and Dianoga. Over here we have the tractor beam with Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2, Q5. If you pull this little red lever, the tractor beam goes down. And the final room I have to show you here until we move on to the next floor is the part where Luke and Leia swing across. In there, and then swing on. And I have two stormtroopers there. This takes you to the second floor. If you crank it, it goes up until you reach Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. I put Han Solo in here because, well, he wasn't really supposed to be in anywhere else, so I just put him in there. Here it has like a little stand, and then later on the third floor, there's a little switch that makes it turn. Over here is Emperor Palpatine's room. I'm having the final duel with Luke and Darth Vader. Over here is the prison detention. You can go into Princess Leia's cell, which is right here, and you can open it and put Leia in. And now finally, the last room until the next floor is the super laser. So this is basically the whole point of the Death Star. It was just made to destroy. So now I'm moving on to the next floor and the final floor. So over here is the super laser control room where you can turn the super laser. So over here is on the office. I put some extra figures I got. The control panel on the side to make them move side to side. So here's the final room and then I just have the elevator to show you. Here is the assassin droid working on this protocol droid. So the last thing in the Death Star is the elevator. So if you crank this, it takes like a minute or so to get the elevator all the way on the top. That's something sort of annoying about it. So now finally the last thing I have to do today is to show you some tricks on my flowboard I got for Christmas. Let's get to it. And for the last part of my video, I'm gonna show you some flowboard tricks. And remember that I'll be doing videos every week. Leave comments below on what, me, what you want me to do and subscribe. Now, let's begin. It's kind of hard to get started when you use this, but finally when you get good with it, you can learn some pretty cool tricks easily. And for all those 
people out there that are like these people that are always like, oh, you're gonna get hurt by that thing, it's gonna explode. Well, this isn't gonna explode. They make sure, and we made sure that it wasn't bought by some idiot on Amazon or something, even though they don't even sell them anymore on Amazon. We don't buy those $100 ones from GameStop. You can spin extra fast like this. It's really fun when you go on your knees to learn how to go on like a circuit around your house on this thing. And by the way, you get up by the back. Now thank you for watching. Now tell your friends to subscribe and comment. And the same thing goes to you. Subscribe and comment to my videos. Tell me what you want me to do next week. Thank you for watching.